All right, this video, I just, this is a sort of an FYI video. Um, I'm not expecting you to add this to your programs, but if you're out on the internet looking at other code, you might need to know this. Plus, anything I give on these videos is fair game for a quiz or a test. All right, in this program, I just wanted to show you um, a little bit more about the increment and decrement operators. Okay, to start this program, uh, I, the first one is just basic and it's good program and practice. This is the way that in our program and we're going to do it. Um, int num, uh, c out num equals num, so that'll c out five, then num plus plus, right? Um, probably need to add a line. Right. So this is good standard practice, isn't, and this is the way we're going to do it. This isn't the FYI part, but int num equals five, num equals, then I print out a five, I increment it, num incremented is num, all right, then we see out an end line. So these two lines should just print out five and then six, all right? This is good standard practice. Here's what happens when, uh, with these, uh, some other things that can happen with these operators. All right. We're going to uh, um, declare an integer num2 and assign it the value of 9. All right. I'm going to see that out. All right. See out num2. Obviously, that's going to display 9. All right. Now, on this next line, Right inside the C out, I'm going to use my uh, increment, incre um, increment num2. Kind of going to do it on the fly. I see programmers doing this from time to time, and it's kind of confusing. What happens when you do this is it displays the num2, then after it prints it, then it adds one, right? So what you're going to get from this line here is a nine. All right, then num2 becomes 10 and goes on to the next line. And this next line, num2, when you see it out, it displays 10. All right, you can see in this next line, there's something different going on. You've got the increment signs in front of the num2. How this differs from this line, this will increment it and then print it. So this adds one and then displays 11. So let's go over these again. This line here, all right, just prints out num2. This second line, all right, it prints out num2, then increments it. This line prints out the num2 that was incremented in this line. And this last line, it prints it out, then increments it. Right? This isn't, I don't think this is a, is a good practice on the fly. I would stick with this concept up here, but I just wanted you to know what this, what this means. Um, if we went up here and did this, our initial code. We went up here and I put the plus plus sign in front. It wouldn't make any difference us writing code like we, like we do. All this does, we've got these on separate statements, right? We see out num here, then here we increment it. This means the same as plus plus num means the exact same thing as num plus plus. It'll do the same thing because we've got it in separate statements, right? Um, I want you to know that this is a possibility, what happens down here. Put this in your notes. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to add a line to this. See out. 
num2. run this to show you all. So look at this. This is um, 9, 9, 10, 11, 11 is how these should print out once we run this program. 9, 9, 10, 11, 11. So these notes are accurate. This is important to have in your notes just in case it's a question. Up here, this is the way that I would always suggest that we run programs. Right? If you put them in separate statements like that, it doesn't matter if you put the plus plus signs in front or behind or the minus signs in behind. But when you're using it on the fly like this, this is something that is a possibility. This is probably the last time you'll see me mention something like this. Have this in your notes just in case and know that this is a possibility. It'll be pretty cut and dry in the programs that we use, right? It's, it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to go over this again. This is just declaring an integer num, all right? Printing out that num. Then we increment it. Then we see out the incremented num. And then an end, end L, okay? Simple, easy to understand, easy, easy to follow if you're, you're reading somebody else's code. This is kind of confusing, but it's something I'm kind of obligated to share with you.